Welcome back to Diving Into Watches. And this week we've got a really cool review for you. As if you've been a big follower of any YouTube uh, re watch reviewers in a long time, then you should be familiar with the YouTube channel Just One More Watch run by Jody down in Australia. Um, I've been following him for several years, almost since he began, and watched his channel grow and watched the success of that channel. And it seems lately a lot of channels that have had some good success, uh, the Mad Watch Collector, uh, Just One More Watch, uh, and the Urban Gentry, they either do a collaborative with the watch uh, company or in this particular case with Just One More Watch, Jody and his partner, Mr. P, they actually went out and started their own watch company, Erebus, and created their own very first watch called uh, the Origin Line. Uh, we got in on the initial offering uh, of that watch and the only reviews that I've seen so far have been the ones that he sent the piece out to some big higher end um, uh, watch channels to do a review on them. I watched all those. Uh, there was some moans and niggles on some. There were some praises on it. There were some, some things they'd like to see change differently. As all watches, it seems that no matter what, you're never going to have everybody agree on everything on what the perfect watch is. But when it comes to a dive watch, um, I think that Erebus hit it right on the head. I think this is a fantastic watch. We got the Erebus Origin in blue. We just got it in a couple of days ago, got it all sized, I've been wearing it the last few days. And I have to say, I'm blown away by the watch. For a first shot at building a watch, trying to hit all the checkpoints between the bracelet, the movement, the bezel, the, the glass, the case, uh, you name it, uh, I think they hit all the check marks. Um, I only had one thing that I was a little concerned about and I'll touch that on the bench, but everything else looked like it was pretty good. They have eight different color options you can choose from. Again, we chose the blue. Uh, I really like the blue color. I don't have a lot of blue watches. Uh, I don't think they have one in green. I think that's one of the colors they don't have. Uh, there's eight colors. I think it goes yellow, orange, white, black, blue, aqua, like an aqua color. And there's one third one. I don't think there's a, I don't think there's a green. One. Oh, it's purple. There's a purple one. I don't think there's a green one. So, but as far as we're concerned, I think he hit all the channel. Uh, I think they hit all the tick marks for what they're going to concern. I know some people will probably knock it. Uh, somebody will find some reason to knock the watch. Uh, and maybe I'm missing something. Let me know if you have one and what you think of it. Let me know in the reviews what your thoughts are. Um, I think probably the one thing that may people may, may, may knock this watch on is going to be the movement. They used an NH35 movement. But I think for the price point for what you get on this watch, uh, the pre-entry price was $299 and then post is now $350. Even at that price point at $350, everything that you get on this watch, I, I don't know how uh, I don't I don't know how they're making money on this or if their plan is just to break even. Um, but it they did a phenomenal, phenomenal job for a very first run. Uh, I heard I heard some uh, people complain that there was too it was it was 41 because it's 41 millimeters that it was too big. I think 41 is the sweet spot. I think it looks perfect on my six and a quarter. The other comment that I heard was that it was top heavy. Um, I don't see that at all. Uh, the only reason I could see that someone would say it was top heavy is your band's too loose. You you have the bracelet adjusted too loose. I don't know. It fits yeah, with half links and whole links and the H links. I think it's I think it's just a perfect perfect watch hitting all those all those tick marks. I don't think if you had went with a high B twenty eight thousand BPH movement like a Miyoto nine thousand. They could, they could have kept it at this price point. Uh, I think the NH35 was the right movement considering for a first run and you wanted something that was going to be reliable, dependable, and going to be a workhorse. And I know this watch is going to run for a long, long time. But without further ado, let's take a look at or, or just one more watch's new launch line, Erebus, and their origin line and say what we think. And I'll give you my thoughts. So let's go over to the bench and let's take a look at the Erebus origin. Okay, here we are on the bench taking a look at the Erebus uh, origin. I typically don't do an unboxing like this one, but I thought I would because it came in a really great case. Jody put they uh, put a lot of thought into this. This watch box is actually doubles as a watch carrying case for two watches, which I thought was fantastic because typically you get a watch box. It's good just for the watch and then that's it. It ends up in a cupboard and never going to get used again. I have so many watch boxes. I just, I just absolutely cannot stand that. So a lot of times now when I order a watch, if I have the option to get it without the box, uh, depending on the price point, I will do it without the box. But they got the branding on top. They got their logo. Go ahead and open it up real quick. You got two sleeves here for two watches. It does come with a Erebus two-year uh, international warranty. It is signed. It has the date on it. 
so that is really nice. And then they give you a little card, a thank you card, with the photo of Jody and his partner, Mr. P. And uh, Jody and Stevie here. So you kind of just put some faces with the names, which is nice. And then they give you a nice cleaning cloth. And then it also comes with a, a little screwdriver. And we'll talk about why that in a second. And you can see I've already had some links taken out because I had a size for my six and a quarter inch wrist. But you can see one watch there and one watch here. Put these back. Take the watch out. So this is the watch itself. Uh, you can see it's blue. I want the blue dot, the blue bezel. Fantastic watch, absolutely static. Would happy with this watch. Real quick, we'll get the dimensions out of the way and then we'll get into more detail into the watch. The watch is 41 millimeters. It is a 22 millimeter lug width. I'm sorry, it's a 20 millimeter lug width and it is a lug to lug of 47 millimeters and a case thickness of 12 0.7 millimeters and it is a screw down crown which is 7.5 uh, 7 millimeters and it is a screw down case back which we'll take a look, closer look in a second taking a uh, closer look at the watch here you have the blue bezel you have the blue background the dial itself is kind of a sand finish um, that's the best way I can describe it it's just really really nice let me see if I can zoom in a little bit here there we go that's a little bit better uh, so it is a kind of a sand finish on it, uh, and it is an AR-coated glass. It is a flat sapphire glass. Now, some people may not like that. I enjoy it very much. I like that a lot. It is a brushed finish on the entire watch, on the sides and on the top. And then the bracelet is also brushed and is an H link, and it tapers down from 20 down to, I think it's 18 at the bottom here. The bracelet has screw-in crowns. I'm sorry, screw-in pins. So these are not pin, your typical pin and collar. You actually screw these out and screw them back in. That's why the little screwdriver came and is extremely easy to adjust. And this is, to me, is a pretty high-end feature that you see are in much higher-end watches. Typically, they're all pin and, claw, pin and collar. The bezel is loomed. The indices are loomed. You have nice, broad sword hands. That the, hour, the minute hand comes way out to the minute track and then the hour hand. And then the seconds hand is squared with a very long tip, which I love, and the square mates up perfectly with each indice, creating perfect rectangles as it goes around each one, as you can see down here in a second. It perfectly lines up perfectly. I, I absolutely love that. You have the date at the bottom, and then you have origin, and then you have 20 atmospheres, or which is uh, six, um, 200, meters of dive, uh, 200 meters of water resistance or 600 feet. And then you have the Erebus logo at the top here. I have heard some comments that people say that the dial is uh, a little too open, uh, plain, not enough, not busy enough. I think it's absolutely perfect. I don't like a lot of stuff all over the dial. I think it takes away from the attractiveness. You have a minute track that goes around the inside, and it looks like the indices are applied and not printed. They just super lumen over bright, which is awesome, and we'll, we will get a loom shot here in a second. And then the crown is nicely protected by two solid uh, segments off the side of the case and is uh, protecting that crown. The screw down crown is very, very nice, very, very easy to use. And as soon as you unscrew it, it pops right out. And it's your typical adjustment. Pull it out one notch to do the date and then all the way out to do the hour and to adjust the time. Uh, the, the bezel turns very, very nicely. I don't know if my mic is picking that up. And unlike other watches, the QC is perfect. It lines up perfectly at the top. Looking at the bracelet, it is a full clasp. It is a milled clasp. It is a solid, it is a solid clasp here. And on the inside, there is a, some will call it diver's extension. Some will call it just a regular uh, um, micro adjustments. I'm going to go with the micro adjustment slash diver extension. You push it in, you can pull it all the way out. And it has, ex it has it ha the links uh, slide in and slide in and out in there. So you can adjust this throughout the day with your with swells uh, or shrinks, vice versa, depending on the weather, if it's hot or cold. And then it just pushes back in one click at a time. And right now I, I wear it all the way in and it's adjusted perfectly for me. It is a safety clasp click and then it's a dual, dual, push, dual push button deployment. I think that is fantastic. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. The fantastic job. The back is not an exhibition case back, which is fine. It's a dive watch. But they kept it simple. They have the logo of the Erebus company. 
and then it says automatic sapphire 200 atmosphere and uh, Erebus origin the name of the watch okay here is the loom and you can see the loom is absolutely just gorgeous it is a loomed bezel all the indices are loomed the hands are loomed and the seconds hand is loomed and the loom is super lumen over bright and it's just but it, it just glows for a really long time and it just glows brightly. I don't, I, there's absolutely zero, I have actually zero complaints on the loom, which uh, can be a downfall of a watch. It's just absolutely perfect. I, I'm giving it a huge thumbs up on the loom. It's just absolutely gorgeous and outstanding. I love loom bezels with the loomed indices, the loomed hands and the loom seconds. So it's gonna get, it's gonna get a 10 out of 10 on loom. Okay, we have it on the time grapher. Beating a 21,600 beats per minute, 52 lift angle. We got a point, we've got a 0 0.1 beat error and a 247 amplitude. First test was 10 seconds. Second test was plus five seconds. Third test is plus six seconds. And the fourth and final test on the time grapher is plus five seconds. So this is running right around plus five seconds a day on a on an NH35, that is absolutely outstanding because the, the typical time graph error on an on a NH35 is plus 40 to minus 15. I'm sorry, minus 40 to plus 15. So you can absolutely not go wrong with that. Again, it just shows what an absolute workhorse NH35 is. So let's get this on my wrist and take a quick wrist shot so you can see what it looks like on the wrist. And then we'll go back over to the studio for my final review. Okay, here it is on my six and a quarter inch wrist. It fits absolutely perfectly. I, my biggest concern is I was going to say my only possible point was going to be the clasp. I've never, I don't have a watch where the clasp is this large. I was concerned that it was going to feel way too big, but it does not feel too big at all. Uh, it is centered nicely on the wrist. I actually had to take one link out of here and put it over here to, to center it. You can see with the 47 millimeter lug to lug, it sits perfectly on my wrist. It is a female end link, so they drop down nicely and, and conform to your wrist perfectly. So you're not going to have any issues there. And with the 40 mil, 41 millimeter case, uh, case width, this is going to fit anyone from seven and three quarters all the way down to six and a quarter. Absolutely no problem, depending on what color you want. I believe it's a double AR coated uh, sapphire crystal, which is awesome. And it looks just absolutely killer in the outside. So without that, I think you can't go wrong with this one. It's just an absolute stunner. And without that further ado, let's get back over the studio and give you my final thoughts on the Erebus Origin. All right, folks, there you go. There is the review of the Erebus Origin in blue dial. I, again, I think this is a fantastic watch. I didn't find anything that I could complain about or I would like to see, not at this price point. If it was a higher price point, like this was a four or $500 watch, then yeah, I would say it needs a better movement. But at the price point that you can get one of these for a first run watch from uh, Erebus, AKA for uh, Jody and his partner, Steve, I think they knocked it out of the park. I, I think they really did a fantastic job. I don't have any complaints. Uh, if you disagree with me, let me know what you think down in the comments. If you have one, is there something you didn't like about it? Something that I missed? Hopefully I covered everything. Hopefully this entice you to go take a look at them. You can see over my left shoulder here, the website, go take a look. I know they still have watches available. I'm sure they got a lot of plans in the future. But I don't think you can go wrong with this one. This just really turns out to be a really great watch. I know this one's going to be in my lineup and rotation for quite a while. Uh, I definitely need to start getting rid of some of the older watches that I don't wear anymore. Let me know if you'd like to see a state of my watch collection. I know a lot of a lot of people do them. I've never done one, um, but I might if you'd be interested. Let me know. I'll, I'll do that. Uh, otherwise, hit that hit that subscribe button so you make sure you're always up to date. And get all the notifications of our latest videos. Hit me up with some ideas that you'd like to see on different watches, uh, different things you'd like me to talk about on the watches. Give us a big thumbs up because unfortunately that's what helps the algorithm nowadays and that's what's driving YouTube to get this out to other people to help this watch channel grow and you are helping the watch channel grow and it is not forgotten and it is greatly, greatly, greatly appreciated. We appreciate it 100%. So without, without further ado, I want you all to have a great weekend. Stay safe, be honorable, be kind to each other and I'm diving into watches and I'll see you again next week and I'm out.